what is up ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video i'm just about to hit the road yes it's nighttime. uh it's like maybe 10 10 30 at night and i'm hitting the road uh i guess you know where i'm going going back to pittsburgh i got some things to tighten up there so we've had we have three vehicles uh the two bmws the m4 competition x drive convertible the bmw i8 coupe and then we got the Valhalla minivan. So all of our cars are still registered in PA. Uh, so now's about the time where we need new inspections, new emissions, and oil changes, stuff like that. So in the last video, you guys came with me on that road trip to get all that taken care of. And then we have some other things in between. We have a, Air, a property that we Airbnb, and we always like to go and make touch-ups and do things like that. So this time it's time for the i8 to go get an oil change get its inspections and emissions and then it got me thinking and then it got me looking and man, guys i hate to say it but there's a chance just a chance that i may not come home in this car uh there's a chance that i may come home in a different car so i don't i don't think i'm ready to tell you exactly what yet because i'm not a hundred percent uh, there's something that I'm looking at. There's something that interests me. Um, but I'm also going to take a deep breath. And then before I make that leap, I'm going to look to see what else is in that price category. Make sure there's nothing else on the planet that I want more than what I'm looking at now. It's going to be an emotional video if that happens. I love this car. Absolutely love this car. It's been with me on many of road trips rallies it's been there for the fam um and uh i hate to see it go but unless it's going to be something that you are like this is going to be like a classic car this is going to be like something that i keep in the collection for a long time um you got to rotate them you got to rotate them and i've had it for three years and that's pretty much that's about my point where i rotate them um so you know we'll see we'll see only time will tell um you know, because my thing is like, you know, it's time for a bunch of maintenance on the vehicle. Do I do a bunch of maintenance or do I rotate? So, but you guys are going to get to see, pray for me. I'm hitting the road. I love the road. It's nice and warm. I'll keep you posted along the way. Catch you on the next stop. Well, my first stop to get gas. This is one of the reasons why this is gonna be so hard to get rid of this car. Look at this. I had less than a half a tank. You know what I mean? That's crazy. So now I'm full. That will last me almost 300 miles. When I fill up again, if I go close to empty, we're talking $25 fill up, maybe. So that's gonna be the hardest part of it all. All right, I'm out. Good morning, everybody. Well, I made it, I'm here. Uh, it was kind of a wild ride last night. One, I was extremely tired. Thank goodness I stopped and got a Celsius. Uh, but another thing, it rained. It was like, it was cold. It's 37 degrees, raining, almost snowing terrible visibility a lot of trucks on the road a lot of trucks on the road just kind of doing whatever they wanted it was a it was a kind of a scary trip but i made it i made it safe and i'm here uh, i am now headed to the dealership uh lw automotive it's a, a kind of famous exotic car dealership here in pittsburgh but my once beautiful clean car is now filthy 
Uh, so I'm probably just gonna run through that same touchless car wash I did on the last video and then just keep it moving. And um, I'm gonna be meeting up with a friend of mine to kind of get his opinion on things. Um, my, my buddy Brian, he hasn't been on this channel, but I haven't. I had another channel. Uh, I guess still do, but we don't. I don't do so much content on it. Eat, pray, hustle. Uh, that was kind of the start of my YouTubing on that channel. So please check it out. It's still active, and uh, I just don't do as much content on there as I do here. Um, it's kind of used for other things now. But anyway, long story short, a uh, good friend of mine, he used to have a McLaren 600 LT, and I know he lives over by that area, so I asked him, stop by, come check things out, give me his opinion. Uh, so we'll be meeting up with, I call him Optimus Bry. Uh, he had the nicest car out of the group, so he was kind of, I called him the leader of the Autobots. So it kind of just stuck. Also helps, he's like seven foot tall. Uh, so anyway, guys, I'm freezing. I'm gonna hit to the car wash, finish my Celsius, and we're gonna head to the dealership. Um, I'll probably show you a bunch of different cars and you decide which one you think I'm looking at. All right, peace. And yes, it is technically snowing right now. That's snow. It is technically snowing. It's not like a snowstorm, but it's snowing, it's snowing. All right, I'm here, we made it. Ugh. By wash. It is so hard to. Ugh. Ah, I did it. Please select the car wash by pressing one of the service buttons on the screen. Ah. Uh... Don't judge me. Please select an upgrade. If you do not want an upgrade, press no upgrade. To complete your purchase, please insert cash or card. You are now ready to enter the car wash. Please proceed by following the directions on the signs ahead. And thank you again for your car wash purchase. do this. All right, and just like that, we're all clean again. So, looking good, looks presentable now, you know? So, there was definitely no need for the more expensive wash. It was pretty much already clean, just had to get that dirty rainwater off of it. And now we are finally on our way, late as usual, but are we ever really late, as long as we get there? All right, I'll see you there. So ladies and gentlemen, we've made it. We're here. We are here, LW Automotive. We're gonna go inside and see our peeps. See what they got to say. Ho oh, ho, there's Optimus Bry now. My seven foot tall friend. <laughs> wow.
They always have a crazy, crazy selection. What's up, man? What up? I hope, is this it? No, this I wish. <laughs> I wish. Where do you think I should park? Ooh, let's park right behind me. Can you, yeah, you just, just keep it sideways. LT, that's for sure. Yeah, I wish. I wish. <laughs> how about how about you, Bryce? Six hundred LT. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of cars. It's a lot of cars. Last one I had caught on fire. I won't never Is get another one of those. Of it already? Yeah. So that's like okay. your fixed key, and oh. then you'll still have your fob to lock it online. Oh. And they cool. color matched your. Uh, you'll see it. In the I see. I see. Very cool. But let's let's, let's hear it, dude. Cold started. Wow. All right, guys, so this is what I came here for. This is what I came here to look at. Always wanted a Porsche 911 manual. How can you go wrong? Racing yellow, but we'll see. We'll check it out. I'm digging the simplicity of it. What do you think? It's the, the, the smoke and the cigarette smell is killing it for me. But I mean, other than that, it's, it's nice. I like where the clutch is. I like the seating position. Uh, I like that it's all wheel drive. I love the color. All right, so it's been a minute since I drove a stick. So uh, bear with me here. All right, parking brakes off. I got my driving gloves, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fancy screen. <laughs> Brakes are grippy. Brakes are great. All right, going left here. Actually, no, we're going right. All right. interesting gauge up there the torque split it is it is Never seen i like that. that though because it be an all-wheel drive yeah all right give it a little pepper Plain steering wheel. Yeah. It'll do for now, but I definitely I would get some like carpet and Alcantara, shift light, maybe. Okay, I know where we are. There, up at Wexford. Uh, Our little waffles place we eat at over oh, here. Shit. Okay, their old location used to be right up here on the right. Yeah. So I'm just kind of 
cruising in there. I don't hate it. You know what I mean? I don't hate it. I really wish it didn't smell smoking like that, but at least I don't see any burn marks. Yeah. You know? But how long does it take to get that out? Yeah. guys so we made it back we hit up starbucks real quick uh optimus bride's taking off for the day thank you so much for coming with me man and, and no sharing your opinion uh he's like eight foot tall but he still fit in there you know <laughs> what i mean so but yeah thanks bro all right man appreciate you yep yeah i had a successful run no uh no stalling no gear grinding it, it all came back it's been a minute i'm not the crispiest shifter uh, but all in all, it sounded good. It felt good. The handling was nice. Um, you know, other than the, uh, I dig it. It's it's pretty much what I thought it was gonna be. Um, no true complaints other than the smoke smell. You know, I don't know if I'm such a fan of the tires. Some Goodyear Eagle F1, uh, Eagle F1s. Those suckers are chunky. Those are some big tires. Yeah. You know. But we'll throw some Michelins on there and maybe some other things. So how yeah. was that? It was cool. It, it was cool. Good? Yeah, it felt, felt good. good. It I'm felt Kaden, good. guys. Nice <laughs> to meet you. <laughs> so, yeah, come see Caden at LW Automotive, guys. But I'm going to give him my synopsis here and the rundown, and I'll catch you in a bit. All right, guys. So I just pulled up to one of my favorite places to visit um, here outside of Ross Park Mall. I'm just sitting in the car, and I'm trying to take all this information in. And I really wish I could talk to you guys real time uh, so I can get some opinions out there. Um, I don't know what to do. I have three options. One, don't get anything new and get this car serviced. Get the inspections and emissions. Maybe they say I need brake pads, um, oil change simple stuff right regular maintenance and going about my life or do I sell this and just get out of it and just rock with the M4 or do I trade this in for the Porsche my problem with the Porsche is the dated technology the drive the look is great the drive train is awesome that's what i want it for that infotainment system with the cd player it smelled like smoke so like the color is good the looks good i'm fine with the year the miles are low a little scary low uh, i have a full carfax report but it, what you know and it, it matches up with the mileage but the problem is the the car has had annual services it's had service like you know if after you hit a certain amount of miles you get certain services 20,000 miles 30,000 mile service it's had service it's had its 70,000 mile service already now the car is old, it's a 2015. So in those cases where people don't drive their cars, um, you know, you might be required to still get those services done. Not maybe, not so much for the mileage that you put on for the time. Like even my M4, um, it was my, my oil light came on to get the oil changed it still had 3,000 miles to go. So, but it wasn't so much about the mileage, it was about months. So it was like, hey, 
you don't have to drive this thing at all, but after three months or whatever, six months, it's still asking you to get the oil change. So it could be a situation like that. It could be deeper. Um, so I'm, I just don't know what to do. I was trying to keep this, um, you know, I like to not let everybody know what I'm doing as I'm doing it. I wanted to keep it as a surprise, but I think I'm going to bring my older friends in on it and kind of get their opinion. And, uh, I just don't know what to do. So I'm going to go in the mall here, clear my head. I feel like I smell like cigarettes from even sitting in the car and, um, then go from there. By the time you see this video, what I have done has already happened. So take this opportunity. If you're watching this video, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that. Once I get to a certain amount of subscribers, I'll be able to go live and I can bring you guys in on things like this. That would really help. As far as the I-8 goes, like getting back in the I-8 after viewing that, it's like, it's only a year like that. The Porsche is a 15, this is a 16. But the tech and it's so futuristic, so techy, so cool, the upright doors, the it's it's you know, so I'm like, am I doing the right thing here? You know, like what am I chasing? Mileage? What if what if that car has had seventy thousand miles on it and they just rolled it back? Now, it doesn't look like it's had seventy thousand miles on it. It's all it's pretty clean. There's no it doesn't look beat up, the leather looks good, the leather doesn't look like it's been you know, sat on a million times through multiple states and left outside. It looks good, but this has 77,000 miles on it and it looks good. So. What's up everybody and welcome back. Today is a new day. I'm here in Pittsburgh. Uh, I'm here in the Shenley Park area kinda ish. Uh, right behind me is the Pittsburgh Aviary. I'm right across from Carnegie Mellon University. Um, down here, there's all kind of trails and stuff like that. So uh, I guess I could be in a better area to show you a little bit more sights, but the day is beautiful. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what I decided to do uh, about the Porsche 911 Carrera 4. Um, so the verdict is I'm keeping the i8. I'm keeping the i8. I love the i8. The i8 is me. Uh, it's perfect for me. It is. It just doesn't make sense to add more debt to my life, and you know, worry about modding the Porsche to get it to the way I want. Um, one day I will have a Porsche. One day I will have a manual transmission Porsche. Um, hopefully, it's like a 22 GT3. But for right now. That 2015 Carrera S, it just wasn't it. Wasn't it, it just, it didn't make sense for my life. Um, I love cars, I like to switch it up a little bit, but this car is special to me. We've been through a lot, we've been all over the country. Uh, my parents traveled with me out of state uh, to help me get this. Um, and it just, even though I like the Porsche and I would like to have the Porsche, uh, I can't just add it to the fleet and trading my baby in for something that, um, you know, it's a, a year older and uh, it just, I just couldn't do it. it. And it just didn't make financial sense. Also, I'm not a cash buyer, so I'd be financing this vehicle. When I bought this, I bought this pre-COVID. And also the automotive bubble have popped the banks got in a lot of trouble for how they were lending. And, you know, everybody knows that the banks are in crisis, this, that, the other. So the interest rate, I, I had a 4% interest rate on this. The interest rate to change this car, to add $30,000 more in debt uh, on my life for a year older car, the interest rate would be somewhere around 8 to 11%. Uh, and that's for qualified buyers. That's for people with good credit. And it just, it's not worth it. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Um, you know, and I like the car. I like the car. LW was really nice. I had a good time, but it just didn't make financial sense. So anyway, uh, tomorrow we're going to be heading to Bobby Ray Hall BMW in the South Hills of Pittsburgh. 
dropping this off for its service and maintenance and all that good stuff and uh, it's emissions and inspection oil change uh, hopefully it doesn't need anything other than that please pray with me pray for me and then um, we'll see what type of loaner they give me hopefully it's something cool I'll feel good about shooting a video with uh, and then I have a hair appointment again at Eva's African hair braiding um, I may or may not be staying past that if I do and I stay till Saturday there's a really cool cars and coffee going on out in Wexford there's gonna be tons of cars and I hope I can get that footage for you uh, it just kind of depends how things go if I get antsy or Alicia needs my help back home in Ocean City with the business or with the kids um, you know I'm just gonna skip the cars and coffee and head home after I handle my business uh, but if everything's cool and you know um, I can hopefully I'll get that footage for you but I just, I, I, I wanted to stop and just keep, get you updated on where I was going with the whole Porsche thing. Um, it was nice, but it wasn't me, you know? It's one thing to like a car, it's another thing to love a car. And I love this car and I didn't love the Porsche. I liked the Porsche, but I didn't love the Porsche. So guys, that's it. That's it in a nutshell. I'll see you tomorrow at Bobby Ray Hall BMW. Peace. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Today is the day we are headed to Bobby Ray Hall BMW in the South Hills of Pittsburgh. And we are late, of course. Appointment is at nine o'clock. Uh, ETA says 9.28. We'll see if we can sh shave some time off. But, uh, you know, we'll see. So anyway, guys, I'll catch you there. Peace. All right guys, so we made it, we're here, we're in, we're all checked in. Um, I'm gonna do my very best. I probably have to pull the footage off of my dash cam, but we scraped the underside of the I-8 so bad. So over there, there's a bank. Um, the way I come in, I come in that way and then roll through the bank. Well, I guess the bank doesn't like Bobby Ray Hall's customers driving through. So they increase the size of the speed bumps tremendously. So I've been coming here for years, going through that way for years, and going over that speed bump for years. So what I expected is not what happened. I've never scraped the underside of that car so bad. Um, it was absolutely horrific. So I'm gonna do my best to pull that dash cam footage. But anyway, we're still here. I got out the car. I looked to see if there was any visible damage. I didn't see any. Uh, so we're we're all checked in. Uh, they are going to give us a loaner car. Uh, so I asked them if they had anything cool, anything special, and I think we scored a convertible. Uh, so, and I think I see it. So we got a four series convertible. It's not the M4 Competition X Drive, but it will definitely do. Beautiful weather outside today. I think it's going up to the 80s. Um, I don't see anything in the showroom quite like that. B7 Alpina that we saw last time we were here. But just wanted to let you know, I made it. They were super busy when I got here, um, super busy. I felt bad because I was a little late, but you know, they're always kind. Um, look at this IX out here though, this thing is nice. I'm, I really, um, I, haven't quite got, I haven't quite gotten over the IX yet after that last test drive. And they have this crazy like aquamarine one. So. I don't know if that color is translating through, but. And then that is the bank parking lot right there. The trees are kind of in the way of those bumps, but they got me good. They got me good. Oh, there's one. There's two and I scraped on both of them. They said they just recently added more asphalt no yellow lines, anything of the sort. I'm, I'm, I'm a little upset about it. All right, so what do we have here? What did they give us? 
No, I wish. I wish. But we did get a convertible for this beautiful day. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about. This makes us feel like home. I was kind of missing the M4, so this will kind of do. This will get us right where we need to be. Familiar attributes. <laughs> you can have it. Hopefully they'll give me that X5M right there. This reminds me of my new one. So it's not quite the, the M model, but it's familiar, you know, familiar all the nice. same. Oh, uh, you too, guys. Enjoy the day. All right, a quick update. We got back from Bobby Ray Hall BMW. They were nice enough to give us this, uh, this convertible here. Then we went to Eva's African Hair and Braiding, got that taken care of. And pretty much by the time all that was going on, we got some, we got a call from Bobby Ray Hall. They let us know uh, what was happening with the i8. I had a lot of concerns as far as what it would possibly need to pass inspection. Uh, it's looking pretty good, but unfortunately, I'm gonna have to take off the white wheels. Uh, so it's gonna be a temporary thing. They're not gonna be able to put them back on. Uh, my wheels and tires as it stands weren't good enough to pass inspection. Uh, so I have to go to my storage unit, grab the stock wheels and tires, bring them to them, and then I'll have to get them put back on myself before I go home. A um, little bit of tread, a little bit too much tread wear on the interior and a little, little crack that's been there for, it's been there for a while, actually right before I left to go on my last rally, it was there. So it's holding air, it's doing well, but now we're like super rushed on time. As far as the Porsche goes, we know that's not happening. And then another, um, you know, potentially I was going to sell the i8 to LW outright without any type of trade-in or anything. And I'm just not gonna do that. Uh, I'm just not gonna do that. So all that we're waiting for now, we gotta run, grab these stock wheels and tires, bring them to Bobby Ray Hall, have them put them on. They're gonna finish everything up. And then we're gonna head off to the wheel connection to get the white wheels put back on. And then I think I'm going home. As far as that cars and coffee I was telling you about uh, on Saturday, it's gonna rain here Saturday. Uh, so they moved it to Sunday. That's going to take me out of reach for how long I can stay. Uh, so, you know, it'll be nice. I'll get home early. I think we have some we have some of those electric motorcycles being delivered um, tomorrow. Uh, so it'll be good for me to be there with Alicia to help her put those together. Uh, she needs my help with the kids, the business. And uh, so anyway, just wanted to give you guys an update. I'm out. Got to head off to the storage unit and um, make all this happen. But before I go, I'm gonna crack into this Celsius right here. <laughs> Celsius! All right, so I made it. We're at the next stop. We're at the next stop. Got mom's there. We're gonna throw the wheels in her car. Then we're headed to Bobby Ray Hall. Then we're headed to the wheel connection to get the wheels that we're about to take off and put back on. All right, so it's the hottest day of the year so far in Pittsburgh. We are throwing on our snow tires. <laughs> oh. So I made it, we made it, we're here. <laughs> guys are super nice. Oh, thanks for bagging them up. I appreciate that. I got. I feel like an F1 driver right now. <laughs> You're real. Yep, call me Bobby Hamilton. <laughs> oh, wow. My baby. 
So hopefully I didn't scrape too bad. Oh, it doesn't look, uh, doesn't look too bad underneath there. You should have heard it when I pulled in the, 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 uh, the humps at the bank got me. The new ones I that they, they oh, them, yeah. don't, don't. <laughs> it is, I, I thought I was going to be stuck there. Well, I, I saw a note on their fair order, so I. Oh, man. It I doesn't. Look, oh, bro, I don't see much of anything. No, it there does. There's a zip tie that I read in on the back. Like oh, that. thank you. Actually, you know what? Can you, can I show you something? Can you tighten this one right here? It's yeah. it's there. It just needs tightened a yeah, little bit. Cool. Yeah. But thank well, you so much. You're not getting underneath it. That's for sure. No. Thank you so much for everything. Looking good. Looking good. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. Of course. All right, so first hot day of the year, snow's going back on. All right, so only one way out, right? Yep, okay. one way out. You, you want me to turn it around for you? You could. <laughs> <laughs> you teach me a thing or two. Let me tell you. All right, come on back. Those are the coolest lifts ever. Wow, those are some really cool lifts. Well, it was short but sweet. Can't wait to get home to my own. So this is the new XM. This is their flagship SUV. This is about 160. Watch your step there. Some people love it. Some people think it's ugly. I think it's amazing. And it's a hybrid. Gas and electric. And then the iX is all electric. I really like that. But this is, this is nice. It's really nice. Yeah, right? This is the iX. This is what I had last time. I love this color. Mm -hmm. It's like an aquamarine, but the inside of this looks so spacious. Yeah, one, 116, better than 160. And then there, oh man, I bet you those are my scrapes too. I looked underneath the car just now. It didn't look bad under there. But those are the, that's what I, that's what I hit. Look at this. Mm. Oh, treacherous. No yellow lines. Look at that. Oh, and that, that other mountain over there. So. I don't see any signals, no yellow lines, nothing, nothing at all. What's up guys? Oh, I made it. We made it. We made it. Yeah. All right, so that's all done. We're all finished up. Mom is the best. Uh, we've been all over. So to Bobby Ray Hall, to the store here, to Bobby Ray Hall, to the wheel connection and back here. Uh, and then we have to head home. So mom is the absolute best. Give mom a shout out in the comments. I'm so glad this is over. We've got the, got the 22s back on. So that's all over. I'm out of here. So I'm back. I'm back at my parents' house, back in the neighborhood. We made it, we got stickers. I'm gonna cut the grass for them real quick and maybe get straight on the road, maybe take a rest. All finished cutting the grass. And this right here, this is the reason why the Porsche just couldn't happen. This is the reason right here why Light Riders is a thing. This is me. 
Fresh cut lawn. Good morning, everybody. Well, today is the day I'm headed back to Ocean City, Maryland, and I got my E46 shirt on that my uncle gave me. Pretty pumped about it. And this is another reason right here why I love this car so much, the display key. Um, just everything, the total package. I'm all packed up. I got tons of room in here. And um, here, let me show you. So of course your comfortable driving seats, the back seat all ready to go. Three cup holders, three cup holders. Find me three cup holders, good cup holders, and any other supercar. And yes, I said supercar, because you show me a regular car in a carbon fiber monocoque. Not a tub, a monocoque, there's a difference. Carbon fiber trunk seal. Let's check out the trunk. I got my shoes, groceries. I bought the window, brought the window sticker and the charger and stuff like that, just in case I was going to trade it because I knew I, what I was coming to look at. Let's put all that in there. Got my computer down here. I've camped out in this thing. I have literally pulled up to campgrounds and camped out in this thing. I just put my, I got the 5% tint, put the sunshade up, and between the electrification, I'm telling you, guys, if you have the opportunity to grab an i8, get yourself one. Uh, right now, the costs are, are, are decent, and you'll just love it. I love mine so much so, I can't get rid of it. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm headed on my headed on my way, headed on the road. Pray for me. Keep me in your prayers. I'm so very, very grateful for my parents, everything they've done for me, and how they continue to just, you know, support me and take care of me. Look, guys, this is the house that I was brought home from the hospital in. It's the house I grew up in. You know? And we have all been through troubles and struggles in our lives but look what God has done look what he's done and he's not finished so follow the light all right guys so I just stopped at the grocery store uh, I did get my car washed again, and I didn't cheap out this time. I got the most expensive wash, and it, it is nice. It, the coatings that they put on were, were nice, and uh, it was, like, easier to dry. Car looks great. It's gleaming. Um, and then I stopped at the grocery store, got my coffee, and got my favorite soap. Uh, this is, um, I'm at Giant Eagle in Monroeville, but if you can look this stuff up, um, I don't see any websites on here. I like, I literally buy it every time I'm in town, but this is what it's called. They make all different types and it's absolutely amazing. I haven't used anything else for well over a year. I love this soap. So anyway, I'm getting ready to leave. I'm in an area called Monroeville. I'm about to get on the turnpike. And I was talking to my buddy, Cool Kev, and he asked me, he said, hey, are you, you know, did you leave yet? And I said, well, I'm just about to go. And he's like, no, don't go. There's a big event out at uh, Porsche Pittsburgh. And I was like, Porsche. <laughs> he's, but there's, you know, everybody's, there's going to be a big meetup and rollout before um, the event. And the event is from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. So as we talk right now, it is 1030 a.m. Um, I was going to leave at like, I was going to leave through the night at like 3 a.m., something like that. 
a six hour road trip home. I miss my kids, I miss my wife. I really wanna go to this event and see all my friends that I haven't seen in a while and do the food truck thing and have a good time. But honestly, I don't know if I'm getting old. I don't know what's up with me, but I think I just wanna go home, you know? As much as I wanna go to the event, I don't think I can hang around that long just to, I think by the time the event would go, I would have anxiety. I'd be like, all right, I gotta leave. By the time I get home, it'll be through the night. And I would love to get that content for you. I really would. As much as I love cars, love cars, as I, as I get a little older, some things become more important than others, you know? I'm not chasing as much, you know? So when I first got this car, you know, I modded the piss out of it. I probably put about 30 grand into this car from the time I bought it for like all the modifications I've ever done to it. I probably did about 30 grand in, in mods. I was chasing. I was a, a you know, I'm a big automotive YouTube enthusiast. Uh, I'm trying to do automotive YouTube, but you know, I watch it every day. And I was trying to emulate what they were doing. And you know, some did that until they made it and you know others it's their business it's you know you know I mean I'm sure they had to start somewhere but it's not my business that's not how I get money I'm just chilling you know and even though I love rallies and event like this rally season I haven't signed up for a single rally not that I don't love my rally crew not that I don't love going on rallies um, it's just you know time away from the family time away from the business um those rallies go on when you know light riders is in the middle of its season you know if i'm out on rally for a week my wife has to watch our four kids my wife has to jump jump into work and honestly she's supportive so it's not like you know she's giving me a hard time about it but you know i just see what it does so i decided not to go on any rallies if I could choose, I would rally all day long, every day for work. You know, hopefully I get to that point someday to where I could just go on rallies, you know, film it, you guys watch it and I get paid, <laughs> you know, that would be ideal. So no love lost, but as I go grow older, I realize that some things are more important than others. Uh, so as much as I would love to go to this, um, event tonight and see all my friends that I haven't seen in a while and you know I even I had planned to stay here long I was gonna stay until Saturday to go to cars and coffee but it got rained out so I just decided to say hey make my plans to go home um, so now that I'm there I'm all packed up I have food in the car I'm like ready to go ready to go I just don't think I have it in me to wait around till four then do the event then drive six hours home. I just wanted to share a little bit about where my mindset is. And also, um, you know, not chasing, not th that's the reason I didn't get that Porsche. Look at this thing behind me. This is everything that I want, everything that I need. This car is me. I have memories in this car. I've camped out in this car. I've uh, had my, you know, my babies in this car. Uh, I pretty much got married in this car. Um, not in the car, but we brought the car down with us and, you know, it was part of our, part of our little honeymoon in Ocean City. You know, we were married there when we still lived in Pittsburgh. We had just got, you know, kind of like vacationed and married there. Now we live there. So, um, you know, and like I said, my parents helped me get this car. They drove out to Ohio, the next state over, uh, in my crazy big truck that I had and uh, you know, help me get this. Um, I have all, like I have the window sticker framed. I have everything for this car like I bought it brand new. Um, and there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, and it gives me an opportunity to socialize with so many people and either talk to them about light riders or talk to them about Jesus. Um, and if I talk to them about light riders, I, pretty much ends up me talking to them about Jesus. 
Uh, so, not that, not per se that that wouldn't happen in that, you know, that 9-11. This techie, futuristic concept car come to life um, just speaks volumes about who I am. So, I'm, uh, I followed my heart on this decision, and I'm going to follow my heart on my decision to go home. And I'll be happy to be home and see my kids shortly after they get out of school, have dinner with my family, uh, check on my convertible, you know. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I appreciate you. And, uh, you know, I do this right now, the YouTube thing. I don't do it for anybody else. I don't do it for anything else but I don't have any agendas with it. Uh, for every video that I make and I upload, it's a video that's out there forever for my four kids. Uh, and it's kind of like a timeline of how I was feeling, what I went through and what I wanted to share. Um, so that is what I love about it. So guys, remember, keep your faith in the Lord, follow your heart, Let's listen to God's whispers to you, don't fight it. Let him talk to you. He's trying to speak to you. And thank you again for watching my videos. All right, guys, so I made it. I made it home. I made it home safe. Car is parked back in here. Oil change, inspection, emissions, everything's good. I'm good. I made it safe just in time. I gave the little kids, the little ones, a ride just from the house to the garage. And I made it just in time so my oldest daughter can make it to a birthday party. Uh, so, all of that, I'm really happy that I chose to just come home and be with my family. I'm going to sit back, unwind, wife put some ribs in the oven. So, all is well. I just wanted to close it this way and say God is good. Thanks for watching. I made it safe.